How to build a missile boat with functional armament in Minecraft? This is the Italian's Barriero class. In my dedicated guide, I explain how to use it and now I will show you how to build this boat. Hello and welcome. My name is Patrick, I'm the Warship Crafter and if you are new to this channel, subscribe now and turn on notifications. It is totally free and helps me a lot. Now let's get back to the ship. For this tutorial, we will need a space, which is 9 blocks wide, 25 blocks long and also we will need 5 blocks inside the water. Here I have marked the area with these white blocks and also the blue glass represents the 5 blocks which are going to be inside the water. We are going to start by building the fins. The first fin starts in the center and you count 3 blocks 1, 2, 3 and then at the fourth block you start the fin 1, 2, 3, 4 and 2 blocks up from here. So just like this. On the back side we again count 3 blocks, 1, 2, 3 and have 4 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4 and the middle two go up. Same goes for the other side. Now our 3 fins are finished and we can continue to the second step. We start off our second step by building up our back fins by one block. Then we go in one block with black concrete, go two blocks back, one, two, and then we have them for uh, eight long in total. So we need five blocks in the front, one, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, we have eight blocks and it goes all the way to the other side like this, also in the front, and we can fill up this little space here. Our little space is now filled in and we add some propellers at the back with these stone brick walls and some oak trap doors just like this are our propellers. Now on both sides we have 14 nether brick stairs, so just place them like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and do the same on the other side. We continue with some black terracotta and have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks here aligned for the other side and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks on this side. Oh, I think they need to be 8. Yeah, just like this. So it aligns here. Pretty nice. Have an iron trap door here, observer here, and then a little observer line. Our observer line goes 1, 2, then to the side and 1 to the front. We have black terracotta here in this space and in this space here we add in a brick stair just like this. We continue our observer line to the front, one, two, then we have an iron trap door and observers facing each side just like this. Have an oak fence here with an oak trap door and this trap door has to be placed on the top not on the bottom so just like this. So when you activate it it claps down just this way and then oak fence at this side and on the other side and an oak fence gate here just like this. Now we have one block of black terracotta here, some black concrete here and on this side. Also we have black concrete here and an iron trap door on this side here and even more black concrete. One, two, one, two, one, two and two to the front, one, two and this layer is pretty much finished. We just need to fill in some blocks here, I think something is missing here. Is there some black concrete here? No. I'm not quite sure, give me a second. I think we need to remove this and yeah, that looks good. Okay, that's it. Now this layer is finished. We start off our third layer by, or our third step, not our third layer, by extending our walls here and also the brick walls at the back, just like this. And then we have a lot of black concrete going all the way around the back and to the front here. And here we have to be careful in front of the fence, the oak fence, we place some nether brick stairs and black concrete on the side of it. You can copy the same to the other side of the boat. We continue in the front with some observers facing the top here, also on this side and black concrete on the side of the observer. Also here and extended one to the front, also on this side and one to the front, one in the front here and 
Again, extended one to the front. Okay. Now we add in some smooth down blocks. One, two, three. Have a sticky piston here with an iron bar in the front. And we fill in the side with some smooth stone blocks, just like this here. And we can come to our next step, which is going to be pretty simple because we place a stone pressure plate here, also on this side, an oak sign here. You can leave it empty, it's just for the sake of the water not going this way. And then we have node blocks, one, two, three on this side with three observers, one, two, three. We have two red terracotta and one yellow one and smooth stone in the back. Next, we have more smooth stone here and on this side. And it's going to be a little bit difficult because we need a downward facing observer on this block. So place one on the top and we need one block down here. And just like this, we have our observer. Add, um, refill our observer here, yeah, just like this. And we have stone stair this way, and we can fill it in with a water bucket. So now we have the water for our TT cannon. We have some more smooth stone back here, and stripped birch wood, but you can use normal birch wood if you want. It's just the backside for our little crew quarters. And we start off our little crew quarters with a blast furnace here, a block of iron, a ladder on the side and an iron door in the front. This is going to be our little refrigerator. And we have a barrel in this corner together with a cauldron and a smooth stone slab. And if you want, you can fill this barrel with TNT. And also we have another barrel, one, two blocks of space here and on this side, just like this. We have a little sitting area back here in this corner. And this is going to be our table and a bed in this corner back here, just like this, with an oak trapdoor in the front and the ladder on the side. And also we have spruce trapdoor here together with our little door for the entrance of this area. And we close it up with some spruce trapdoors, just like this. Okay, now this step is finished and we can, can, can continue with the next one. For the next step, we extend our fins by one to the top and we are going to make the mountings for our fins, but therefore we need some light gray concrete, which I forgot, give me a second. <laughs> now here we have our light gray concrete and we place it all the way around here, just like this and extend it to the front up until here. Same for this side, pretty quick and easy. And then we have acacia fence case here and Acacia fence on the side of it. Also the same for this side, pretty quick, just like this. And on the back we have stone brick stairs on top of our stone brick walls and a ladder in between, so you can climb our boat from the back. In the front we need some light gray banners facing the sides here on these stairs, also on the other stair. And then we have two blocks, again two blocks, then one block and a stone stair, and one, two blocks and a stone stair. Same for the other side, so you can just copy it over. In the front, we can continue our work on the TNT cannon. First, by filling up the space here with smooth stone, just like this. And on this side, we need a stone stair here, so we have a little bit of space under there. And then we have an iron trapdoor on this observer and on the other one an observer facing towards us inside the TNT cannon. And later you can place your projectors on these observers. And we need a smooth stone slab in the middle and an iron bar on this side and on the other side. We now continue with this side of the TNT cannon where our propeller charges are going to be ignited. We need an iron door in the front here and it has to be placed exactly on this side and some redstone here. Also we need red terracotta here and the yellow one and some smooth stone in the back just like this, there, that and we also can extend this one and we want to have another observer facing down here so 
It's going to be a little bit tricky. Maybe do it just like just like this here. Okay, well, give me a second. <laughs> I can do this. Yeah, just like this. Okay. And re remove these blocks and a C lantern here. Yeah. Our TNT can is on a good way and nearly finished. Now we continue with the crew quarters. So for our table, we have some light gray carpet on top. We have a lantern on our barrel heel. We have heavy weighted pressure plates on our blast furnace. And then we can have one more iron block here and a ladder. We also need some birch wood again on the back side here. We have a redstone lamp together with a lever for some more light here on this barrel. And a little tripwire hook for this here so you can wash your hands here and yeah, for a little sink. For the sleeping area, we add one more gray bed together with one more oak trapdoor, a ladder here, and again we have some spruce trapdoors on the side as a room divider, and also one here, just like this. Now our crew quarters are already finished. For our next step, we continue with some light gray concrete here on the back, extend our ladder one to the top, also have one block more light gray concrete here, so we have two blocks here. Then we have a furnace facing inwards, same on the other side, and we extend our light gray concrete all the way to the front, just like this. After doing the same on the other side, we continue in the front by placing one, two, three blocks here, then one, two, one, two, and one, two. That's it. Copy the same to the other side again. We continue in the front with a lever on this block here behind our stair. Then we have another stone stair facing the front, just like this, or rather facing the back, <laughs> however you like to call it. And we need a spruce trap door, but it needs to be placed against this block here, just like that. So when you activate it, it looks like this. We have a lot of zero terracotta blocks here. Fill it all up, just leave these spaces here empty on the side because here we have some more observers, one facing the top, one facing towards the inside of a cannon, same on this side, and some more iron bars on top of here. Now it's going to get a little bit complicated, but don't worry, we can do it together. We have three more observers here, one no block in the back and rest on them on the side of it. We have one empty repeater, one full repeater here, one repeater on one tick here. We also have redstone dust here and an iron trap door on this block here. Now we can continue with this side of the cannon. Okay, we again have some red terracotta and the yellow one. In the back we have zero terracotta, one, two, three. Also on this side here and in the middle on this side and on this side. Now we have stripped birch wood here, here, also above our lever here. And we fill in here six block of oak planks, just like that. We have our ladder coming up one block here. And we can fill in all the top side here with zero terracotta. Now it's completely filled in and this step of our boat is finished. Okay, we start this layer off with a lot of stone slabs in the front here, all the way on the side, also above our little banner here. Same on this side, pretty quick and easy. Now we have some iron trap doors on top of here, also this side, and we have a stone brick block on top of our lever, a stone brick slab facing backwards, and all the way around we want to place some stone brick stairs just like this, so it looks nice and round down here. Okay, we now have some gray carpet, one, two, three on this side, same for the other side, and carpet here, and on this side here. Also we have light gray concrete here, just like this, and we want to have a spruce trap door on our light gray concrete in the middle, just like that. Now we already start building our little bridge. Extend this one block to the back, 
then have two blocks on this side and on the other side on top of here and one block again towards the center. We have an oak slab here. We have birch trap door here to cover up our ladder going to the crew quarters. And then we have iron bars here on both sides so we can access our delay for the TNT cannon. And a lot of oak stairs just facing up like this and one in the front like this here. Okay, now we need some doors on the sides, just like this here. And we have our red terracotta here like this. And also we want to have our dark oak button and this is going to be the button to start our missiles. We finish up the area behind the bridge. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one to the middle. We have a ladder here and on both sides here. We have a redstone dust in the middle part here with iron trap doors on the sides here and there. Also an underside wall together with lots of iron bars in the back, on both sides. And we want to have iron bars going here, one block out and to the front, one, two, three, four, five, then one in again and one to the front. Same on the other side of the boat. Also, we want these iron bars to extend two blocks to the back. One, two. So up to these trap doors. One, two. That's it. And now we can start building our rockets. There's one really important thing I almost forgot. We have to place a button on this redstone lamp because this button is used to fire our TNT cannon. So place this button and now we can continue. We start off our rockets with one observer facing backwards, then we have normal piston together with a TNT on the side, slime block on the front, and we have red shaker boxes on both sides, but these are just decorations so we don't need them, and we have some more TNT in the front, same for the other side of the boat. We start our next step by building our cannon in the front, so we have a furnace here together with a dispenser, two observers. Then again, one furnace and a dispenser. And you can fill this foremost dispenser with fire charges so you can shoot at the enemy ship. We have a lever in the back and stone brick stairs on the sides of it for our little cannon turret. Now, let's be facing this direction, also here. And it's already pretty nice. Good to look at. We now continue building our bridge. Extend all of these blocks, one to the top, just like this. We add some stone buttons on these blocks here, also on the outside to get into our bridge, to open the doors. We have a little oak trap door for our steering wheel in the front here. And we want to have a sea lantern on top of this one. Some light gray concrete here, here and also in the middle. And on the side of it we have gray glazed terracotta just like this on both sides, a ladder here on the other side and a ladder in the back, also extending our underside wall. Now we just have to extend our rockets one block up and then we are finished with this step. So for our rockets we have some honey blocks here on the side of the wall, then we have a sticky piston facing towards the honey blocks. Then an observer on the side, TNT on this side, and a lot of slime blocks in the front. Same again for the side of the boat. We start off our next step by placing some light tray carpet on these three blocks. One, two, three. Now our forward cannon is finished. We continue with our bridge and have some glass blocks here for our windows, also on these blocks here. Light gray blocks in between and on the back just like this. Then we have side stairs on top of our little uh, entryway here. Also we have an anisite slab and cobblestone walls here, here, on the back of it and acacia trap doors here and these are for some yeah, life raft things you can throw out for man, man overboard or anything like this. And an anisite wall on the back extending one to the top and one to the back just like this. Now we can finish our missiles by placing an observer here, observer here, also a piston facing the side, 
Then we have TNT blocks here and in the front, also two blocks here. And we can fill in the rest with some red shulker boxes just like that. Now our rocket is finished. So this step is going to be pretty fast and easy. We extend our anisite wall on the back here by one. Also our cobblestone walls. And we have a lot of anisite slabs on top of here. All the way in the middle, over here and in the front. And just this block here is going to be a smooth stone block. And that's already finished this step. For the next step, we have an iron bar on top of our anisite wall here. We extend these two anisite walls by one. Also these ones, but also extend them one to the back. And in the front, we build a little radio or communications thing, or also maybe for radar, on top of here with a um, fence and two fence gates. That's pretty much it. And we can continue to the next step. So for our final step, we want to add five iron bars on top of this one. One, two, three, four, five. And have a little antenna here. Then we want to extend our cobblestone walls, two to the top, one, two, one, two, same on the back. And then we have one to connect them. We have some chisel stone bricks, one here and one in the middle. Then we have an anisite stair together with anisite slab. We have a block of quartz with two quartz stairs. And this is our little radar system on top of here. We also have two cobblestone walls in the back here together with a hopper. Just like this, now our communications array is finished and our flag is about to begin. We add in one grey carpet on top of our hopper here and our flag, the last but most important part of our boat, gets to be built back here. So we have some fence going back up here. It's dark oak fence. Oh no, spruce fence. Sorry. And we have green wool together with white wool going one to the side and red wool going one to the bottom. Yes, now not only our flag, but our entire boat is finished. And you have built your first missile boat. I hope you like it. You can use it in combat. It's really strong for its size and I hope you have lots of fun with it. Please give a like to this video if you enjoyed it and also share it with your friends. I will see you in the next one. Wednesday is worship day.